Welcome to a definition of the capital market line for investment modeling by Factorpad. I'm Paul and here's how we'll do it. First we'll start with a definition, next we'll visualize the capital market line, and last we'll demonstrate the concept in Excel. First off, I pulled this definition from our light-hearted glossary that's packed with videos, quizzes, and even a fun use it in a sentence section. The capital market line is the concept from the capital asset pricing model used to derive investor allocations to two assets, a risk-free asset like a T-bill and the market portfolio of risky assets. It connects the risk-free asset return on the y-axis to the efficient frontier at the market portfolio. Portfolio allocations below the market portfolio imply lending or buying bonds and above imply borrowing or using leverage and buying additional positions of the market portfolio. Where the client's indifference curve meets the line is at the optimal portfolio. This is like the money shot for cap M theory, so let's get a visual. We're sitting in Excel and this is a snippet from our boot camp course. And there we cover all of the curves, lines, and dots shown here in one 40 minute video. But because most people can't sit still that long, we break it out into 11 separate four to five minute videos, just like this one. I'll provide a link to boot camp video number 22 at the end if you'd like to get the whole story. Okay, we have a chart with expected return on the y-axis and expected risk on the x-axis. And the expected time frame comes from historical data as an input and then you run a regression to generate expected return and risk. The curves and dots on the right represents in, uh, advancements in modern portfolio theory covered elsewhere and capital market theory or cap m developed in the 1960s shifted the conversation to the left here academic theories require that we hold other variables constant with assumptions and here's a list of mpt assumptions to review later and we could tack on another set for capital market theory and if you'd like uh, more than this quick and dirty summary reach out to me for in-depth readings on those assumptions Okay, let's demonstrate and focus on this definition. The capital market line connects the risk-free asset return, RF2, on the y-axis to the efficient frontier dark green curve at the market portfolio labeled M2 here. At RF2, an investor allocates 100% in treasury bills. At M2, the investor allocates 100% to the market portfolio. The investor wouldn't choose point A because she would get more bang for her buck where the line's slope is the steepest. Ponder that for a second. Think about it this way. An investor seeking a higher return must take risk and move up this line. Each step of the way adding risky assets. 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Think about buying T-bills just as if you were lending to the government. And you could keep going past M2 and have maybe 200% invested in the market portfolio with 100% of borrowed money. That's a difficult concept, but is possible, yet uncommon. Capital market theory demonstrated how investors could choose between these two assets exclusively selecting an allocation that matches her tolerance for risk, thereby shifting this light green indifference curve, which was over here for the MPT examples, up and down the capital market line. Risk, in risk averse investors here and risk seeking investors here. As you can tell, there's a lot to portfolio theory and to really learn it, I suggest diving right into that boot camp for a classroom approach. There you basically recreate all of this in videos that range from 15 to 40 minutes, including a short lecture with guests, and we have a little fun with it too. It's on YouTube now with no sign up. Just navigate to the extremely useful factorpad.com 
Oh, and here's the link to video 22 I mentioned earlier. And click here to be alerted about new videos. Okay, thanks for your time today. I hope you had fun learning about the capital market line.